Human beings live in a world of shadows. Lies are sold to us through the alternative media, countless activist groups, grassroots movements, non-profit organizations, and science. We live in Plato's cave. But one man has been turning away from the shadows and glaring into reality's light. He is tired of all the lies and he is bravely preaching a long lost truth. That the most important thing in life is getting your dick sucked. What issue should uh, human beings be focusing on in 2010? I would say probably universal health care. Definitely diminishing our dependence on fossil fuels and switching over to a more sustainable form of energy. Global warming? Well, uh, the, the, uh, the growing gap between the rich and the poor. Uh, the environment? Global? Uh, uh, diminishing fresh water supplies. These activist groups, or whatever you want to call them, uh, are actually pretty clever. This is what they do. They'll suck you in with a bunch of dramatic stories about the deterioration of the environment, global warming, privatized warfare, diminishing fresh water supplies, so on and so forth. But what they're actually doing is creating a smokescreen to distract you from what you should be doing which is spending all of your time and energy on trying to get your dick sucked. You gotta get that dick sucked. Simon Wet Dick Bergeron is the founder and sole member of the Fellatio Truth Movement. His goal is to spread awareness of the Fellatio seeking lifestyle, one convert at a time. Uh, excuse me, ma'am, you have a second? Hello, ma'am. I'm here on behalf of Fellatio Truth. Can I have a moment of your time, please? No. Uh, it'll only take a minute, sir. So, uh, you know, sometimes people are so caught up with the propaganda that they're, they're closed off to new ideas and don't want to hear the truth. But hey, that's something we have to live with and fight for one person at a time. All right, next house. you heard a spokesperson from Greenpeace talking about the immense pleasure you experience when your penis is inside someone else's mouth? Huh? The answer is never. And you will never hear them talk about it. You know why? Because Greenpeace, as a non-profit environmentalist organization, has no personal interest in sharing that information with you. It's as simple as that. I read Hegemony or Survival by Noam Chomsky last week. 300 pages. 300 pages. Nowhere does it mention that 39% of girls actually swallow. They swallow the semen. Nowhere in his book. Coincidence? Ha! I don't think so. Al Gore is actually very clever. Um, when he gets up in front of an audience and starts talking about global warming, um, he seems to be bringing up very valid points that are backed by years and years of scientific research and so on and so forth. But what he's actually doing uh, is he's trying to confuse you. You see, he's throwing all these ideas at you and all this information, and while you're busy trying to sort it all out in your head, you're forgetting that it's 2 a.m. and all the drunk, slutty girls are stumbling out of the bars. And guess what, buddy? You just lost a golden opportunity to get your dick wet. That's what Al Gore's doing, and he's damn good at it. Sometimes it's hard to know whether or not you're caught up in one of the lies. Uh, the propaganda can be quite uh, convincing. Um, therefore, I've uh, created some rules that everyone should abide by. Rule number one goes like this. If you're worried about the planet getting hot, then you know that no one is sucking your cock. It rhymes, makes it easier to remember.
Rule number two goes as follows. Worried about the gap between the rich and the poor? You should be worrying about getting your dick inside of a whore. Zmouth. It was hard to make that one rhyme. It's not a lot that rhymes with poor. Hey, Julie. Hey, how's it going? Uh, what are you up to tonight? George Orwell once said, In a time of universal deceit, telling the truth is a revolutionary act. Am I spearheading a revolution? Maybe. You should uh, come over. Yeah, watch a movie or something. Am I gonna get my dick sucked tonight? Okay, well, I'll see you in an hour then. All right. Uh, bring some chapstick, okay? Definitely. Oh. Whew. Uh, rinse out your mouth first, please. Thank you. Ah. 